Good morning, you guys. It is around 8.15. I'm eating a little bit of breakfast, just fed the dogs, and heading to my first acupuncture appointment, which I'm really excited about. I had a few people suggest trying out like a prenatal acupuncture, acupuncturist. I got a recommendation for someone out in Brentwood, which I'm excited to go see. So I'm heading there, the appointment's at 9.30. I've heard it really helps with like sleep, just like overall like feeling of your body. So we'll see, I'm excited to like let them know my concerns, what's hurting and kind of talk to them about like my sleep and stuff. Cause I haven't really been sleeping that well. Today is Friday. So kind of a chill day before the weekend. I have like a good bit of work to do today. I really want to stop by free people. They opened like a, like their own free people movement in the Nashville mall and I'm heading to the beach and I just want like a few comfy like shorts and like skirts, skorts types of things to like walk on the beach and I have like no athletic clothes that really fit me. Not like tight active wear, not like um, leggings and sports bras and stuff like Lululemon type of stuff. I want some like comfy athleisure, like oversized tees, maybe some like shorts. So I figured we would stop by there on our way home. Acupuncture appointments in Brentwood. So it's like a 30 minute drive. So I kind of need to get going, but I just want to stop the vlog. Morning, what can I get started for you? Hi, could I get two shots of espresso over ice in a grande cup? I'll get two pumps of white mocha and vanilla cream cold foam in that. You said vanilla sweet cream in there? Yes, uh, the cold foam, yes. Oh, yes. Sorry. No worries. Alrighty. Anything else for you? Do you guys have any of the potato cheddar and chive bakes? Um, I am out right now, but I do still have my egg whites, which are similar. Um, okay, that's okay. I will just get the drink. Alrighty, we'll see you up here. Thank you. Just wrapped up acupuncture. I am so impressed. I literally feel like a new human being. I'm so excited to keep going. I already made an appointment for like the end of next week. She wants to see me back. They were so sweet. And I already feel like a new woman walking out of there. I was really nervous to get all the needles put into my body because I feel like nothing about the sound of like them sticking tiny needles into your body sounds fun when she put the first one in it was in my hand and I guess I have a lot of tension in my hand and it like tensed up and that was like the only one that hurt other than that like she literally put them in the top of my head like on my forehead like in my sides on my feet all down my hips and legs all around my like back of my waist where I've been having like pain and stuff and it was just like a game changer and then you sit with those needles on for 20 25 minutes and then a massage therapist comes in and like digs out the areas that you're like having pain and stuff um and then they gave me like a little bit of like they gave me this like oil and then these like patches to help relieve like any type of pain that i'm in or going through i've just been having a lot of like around the hip and pelvic area and like the tailbone area pain and when i'm sleeping it's extra bad because i'm used to sleeping on my back with like my hips wide open because um, I grew up dancing and my hips are like super turned out. If you're a dancer, you know, like your hips are super turned out like normally, whereas like a normal person who didn't train their hips to turn out, they sleep with like their legs up, but mine are like completely flopped. So now that I have to sleep on my side with the baby, my hips are feeling like they're crushing in. So it's just like every morning I wake up with just like bad hip pain. So she was like digging out the knots and it felt so good. I was like falling asleep in the chair. I just got a little coffee and I pulled over in this like random parking lot. Um, I need to do a little bit of work on my phone. Some like Instagram story campaigns that I did yesterday. I need to edit them on my phone and send them in. And then I'm going to head to free people. Like I was telling you guys, I can't really quite go home yet. We have the house cleaners there. Um, so I like to like give them their space and let them do their thing. And then I'll go home and continue on the day. But acupuncture went well. I'm excited to keep going back because I definitely like feel like if I keep up with it, she said that 85% of their clients are all pregnant women. So that makes me feel good. And I've heard a lot of people like recommend whenever I post it on my Instagram story, like what helps you sleep better, or helps you get rid of pain and things like that while being pregnant. Acupuncture is like one of the most, um, what do you call it? Suggested things. And I like it because like I've told you guys before, I've been trying not to take any type of medication or anything like that. A lot of 
you guys suggested taking at night this pill called Unisum, which we actually went to our 20 week appointment, which I also wanted to talk to you guys about because I wasn't vlogging. We finally got to go to our 20 week appointment, um, like the big anatomy scan and the ultrasound and all that stuff. And it was so good. Um, it was like the best day. It was on Dylan's birthday. Um, so like three days ago, I think we went and it was so fun. Like I never wanted to attend. They were showing us all the parts, measuring everything. He's measuring like perfect. He's actually in the 89th percentile. So we'll probably have a little bit of a big boy on our hands. Um, and it was just like so sweet. I can insert a picture um, of his little side profile. I have it actually on like the background of my phone because I'm just so obsessed with him already and it's so weird like I just smile talking about it because it's so weird to be so obsessed with something that you don't even know yet and just like feel such a strong connection and love to something that you haven't even got to meet yet so I just feel like very protective over him and I don't know I I've known for a while obviously that I'm pregnant and like the feeling of being pregnant and stuff has been hard for me to grasp and like understand that I'm like pregnant but I think that appointment really kind of like made me feel like okay like we're doing this. I'm halfway through. Baby's doing good. I'm doing good. Like it was just all around a really good appointment. He's currently like in the breech position, but they said I'm so early that um, he has plenty of time to move around. Cause like literally at the beginning of the appointment, he wasn't breached. And then when she was doing the ultrasound, like moving him around and trying to get measurements of everything, he turned breech. So they had to like write down breach and explain to me like what it was and all that kind of stuff. But the doctor was like, do not be worried. There's like a high, high, high chance that he could move a million more times. So she was like, it's nothing to worry about right now. So the 20 week appointment went great. I'm actually currently today, 22 weeks, but, um, with the snow and stuff, the appointment got pushed. So anyways, I'm going to do a little bit of work on my phone, enjoy my little coffee and then do a few errands. I already got gas before my appointment. So that was nice. And then we'll head home. In free people movement I grabbed a bunch of just like activewear stuff and then I have some bras and stuff that I'm going to try some one pieces hi hi did you eat let's go see if you ate because you haven't been eating come on Winnie why you not eat your breakfast <laughs> why you not eat your breakfast you silly dog okay we ate a little bit, but house is all clean. Just got back home. Um, minus this little situation right here. I need to pick this up. It smells so good in here. I'm so happy that it's clean. <laughs> Baby, I missed you. Hi. Come on, let's go potty. <laughs> I'm heating up some leftovers from... Hello Fresh. Dylan and I made this like beef bowl last night and it was so good. So I'm gonna heat this up and get some stuff done on the computer. I just came upstairs because I want to switch my sheets over. My bed is like so nicely made right now. Um, I currently have the linen sheets on from Brooklinen, but I just got this new set in in this new cream color and it is the Lux Hardcore Bundles. So I want to thank Brooklinen for sponsoring today's video. I am obsessed with Brooklinen sheets. You guys know this by now. There are towels, their robes, everything. So I wanted to show you guys my new little sheets for switch up of the season. New year going into early spring. I just wanted a little bit of a bedroom refresh. So I got these cream sheets right now. We have white on the bed. And then we also have, we have this like pretty olive color um, sheet and pillowcases, which they always have like seasonal colors. So if you ever see a color or a pattern or anything on the website that you like, definitely grab them. I have a pair of striped sheets from them. I will insert a photo. They're like my favorite sheets ever. They're also the linen, but I wanted to break this little set down and share because I have a little code for you guys. I came up here to put some makeup on to film some stuff and I had to share because these just came to the door and I want to get them in the wash so I could get them on the bed for tonight. So we have like new cozy sheets for the night. But like I said, I got the Lux set. So 
here is the box right here um i got all cream but brooklyn and did just come out with a ton of new colors so if you guys are like into a new bedroom refresh for the new year or just like a change up um they have so many good new colors out right now on the website one of my favorite things that brooklyn and does is that they offer bundles so you can i have the hardcore bundle here but you can bundle items instead of purchasing every single thing individually and it saves you 20 percent, which is really nice so this is the hardcore bundle it comes with the duvet cover which we have here two of the pillowcases i got in king size but you can do whatever size obviously your bed is and then the sheets which is one flat sheet one fitted sheet and two more pillowcases so four pillowcases total which is nice because we sleep with a lot of pillows on our bed um brooklyn and sheets are literally like the only brand of sheets that dylan we've been using them for three four years now but the only brand of sheets that we can both like actually agree on like temperature wise they're really cooling they're just like a really really nice luxury sheet without that luxury price tag um i feel like i'm sleeping in like a hotel bed every night whenever we travel and we get home i look forward to sleeping in our bed and i think it has a lot to do with the quality of the sheets that we have you can also choose to mix and match from 20 plus colors and patterns to fit your particular style like i was saying they have a ton of new colors out things like that on their website the luxe sateen sheets are some of their best sellers in the ultimate bedding upgrade for your room they're also 480 thread count and slightly like a luminous finish which which I really think is pretty and just elevates the bed. Brooklinen is offering my viewers a special discount. So for you guys, $20 off any order that is $100 or more. So if you spend $100 or more, you get $20 off if you use my code and click on the link. I'll put it here on the screen. I'll also put it down below in the description for you guys, but $20 off any $100 or more order. Um, now is the time if you've been wanting to get some new sheets, stock up on some new towels, anything like that, definitely check them out, especially because they have all their new fun colors and patterns out. Um, now is like a great time to check out their website. Obsessed with the brand. Their stuff is truly incredible. I'm gonna get this stuff in the wash and then I'll show you what the Lux looks like, like the Lux bun looks like on my bed just because i feel like i always have the linen on there i want to show you guys how this looks but obviously it's going to take like a second to get these in the wash and stuff so we're going to do that now sheets are on they look so nice i'm obsessed with the color i feel like the cream is really nice in here it just like looks good with the side tables and everything in here and the material is just like nice silky butter so really excited about that again i will put my code here on the screen and i'll link down below so you guys can save $20 when you spend over a hundred. So check them out. Thank you, Brooklyn, and for sponsoring today's video. I got this package and I think it's a mirror that I ordered from Target. I ordered it like two weeks ago. I think this is it, it just came in. It's just doing last minute work for Friday, like wrapping up for the weekend, which is nice. And I have a lot of laundry I need to go fold. I just gave Rue a ball. She's like freaking out if you hear it. But I ordered this mirror because I saw like a mirror similar to this. Rue, you gotta chill, dude. I saw a mirror similar to this on Etsy and it was like a thousand dollar mirror. And so I kind of started looking up some dupes for. I swear if this is shattered, I'm gonna be so mad because I feel like this always happens to me. But I found a dupe on Target and I really wanna use this for the nursery. Um, I just really like it. It's a cool shape. Every time I order like mirrors or anything, they always come broke. I need to lay it flat. Ow! I just slammed my fingers so hard in the tripod. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. It's not broke. Okay. At least I don't think it's broke. Yeah. Wait, it's actually like really heavy and nice quality. Wait, let me prop it up right here. Here it is. I really love the shape of the top of the mirror and I felt like it could be really cute with a pretty sconce over the top and like the, this little nook in that bedroom. And then obviously if we end up moving and that upstairs is not his nursery, I'll probably find somewhere else for it in the house or use it in future nursery space. But I think it's super cute. It was under $100. I think with shipping and everything, it was like 80 bucks. So I will link this mirror. It was still in stock on Target when I checked. And 
It's really pretty. It could be cute in girl or boy room or just like around your home. A really cute powder bath um, mirror as well. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Oh, you have to be center of attention. Push your sister out of the way. You guys, I don't think that the snow, I mean the, <laughs> I don't think that the sun has come out in like four days. It's been terrible. We've had rain, rain, rain. It's been hot, it's been like 60 degrees, but it's the gloomiest weather. We have another gloomy day today, which is no fun. Yeah, puppies, it's another gross day out. What are we gonna do? <laughs> I just woke up and I checked my phone and it's 9.30. And I literally cannot believe I slept in until 9.30. I don't know if it has something to do with the acupuncture, but I feel so well rested. I've started sleeping with this pregnancy pillow from Newton and I really like it. I'll link it for my pregnant gals. I've tried three pregnancy pillows and this one is by far the best. It's just so soft and cozy and then it goes on both sides like a big U shape and I just put my pillow on top of like the U up here and you can also unzip this leg right here if you want to just have one side like long on you. I feel like it really helps me from not sleeping on my back, which is a big like no in pregnancy, which I did not even know until I got pregnant. They say around like 20 weeks when you're about halfway through that sleeping on your back can be not good for you or the baby. So anyways, it helps me sleep on my side and these sheets that I put on last night. Oh my gosh, I feel like we're in a luxury hotel bed. They're so comfy. Even Dylan this morning, he had to go to work. He has to work literally all day today, Saturday. Um, but when he got up, he was like, these sheets are incredible. So we are so excited that we switched to the Lux for a little bit. They're just like really cooling and nice. And they almost feel like we're in a hotel bed. So really love these. Last night, Dylan got home and we watched the new Hunger Games. It was really, really good. And then I passed out and just slept so long. I probably got the best night of sleep I've gotten in a while. So that was really nice. Um, and now we're gonna get the day started. Rue, what are you doing back there? What are you doing? Why are you so cute? Who allowed you to be that cute? Who told you you could be that cute? I didn't. I did not say that. It's so hard to get up when you just have like the coziest bed and you have the cutest dogs. And you just want to cuddle with them, right, Rue? Okay, I'm so excited because, hi. <laughs> I just got this package in the mail from Mushy. I actually placed this order myself. I paid for all this stuff. I have all this stuff on my registry which I wanted to share because I actually am gonna post my registry links in the description of this video. So if you guys been waiting for my baby registry, if you're not pregnant, you can just like skip over this or if you care, I mean, <laughs> you can watch it, but um, I'm still in my pajamas, so ignore, but I've just been having coffee on the couch and this package came to the door. So it just reminded me, I'm gonna post the links for my baby registry all in the description of this video. Um, the only thing that I don't have on the registry is like, decor and stuff for the nursery like crib and stuff because i'm not set on a nursery theme yet and then also stroller and car seat because i'm actually gonna go to this like baby stroller store in atlanta um when we go home in a few weeks to like test out some strollers in person but once i figure out which ones i'm gonna get i will add them to the registry fix my hair i just wanted to let you guys know that i think i have mostly everything else like all the other categories covered if there's anything that I'm missing and you're a mom, like comment them below if there's anything that I need to add, but I feel like I have a pretty good start with stuff. So I'm really excited. I just like feel like getting baby stuff in the mail is so fun. It's like a new hobby of mine is shopping for him, not me. So <laughs> I just am so excited. And there were so many mushy things and they had like a little discount for first time orders. So I placed an order on my own and then I just marked everything that I bought on my registry. I just marked it off. I did my baby registry through baby list, which if you're pregnant, I totally recommend using baby list because you can link a bunch of stuff from different websites. Um, with me sharing my links with you guys, I just did it through my shop, my account. So you can go on and I have a whole shelf of just baby registry. Um, just cause I didn't want to share like my address and stuff. I know there's ways to like hide it and stuff, but just like for privacy reasons, I kept my registry like link private. It. um but if you go on to my shop my all of my links and stuff are there but if you're pregnant use baby list literally so easy and it's like 
separates by categories and it gives you recommendations, things that you're forgetting, leaving out, things like that. I ordered a bunch of just like little toys, like rattles and stuff. They had new arrivals and some of this stuff is always sold out. So I went ahead and grabbed it. A lot of these are obviously for when he gets older. This is 10 month. These two are three month. These are teethers. So I mean, as soon as he wants to start putting things in his mouth, I guess he'll grab towards those. These are for bath time. Really cute hooded towel in this light blue. I think I spent a certain amount, so they gave us this like free baby cream, which is fragrance free, which I like. And then I also bought the little like starter play kit. Even like when it wasn't for my baby and my friends were having babies, I loved ordering from their registry. It's just, <laughs> I don't know, baby stuff is so cute and fun to buy. This is their little starter kit. So these little stacking stars. This little pop in and out phone thing. These are all like 10 months and up kind of, um, but I guess maybe if he does it early, this is six month, but really cute baby um, toys and stuff. Mushy's a really good brand. They have like silverware and plates and stuff for babies, which obviously I do not need yet, but they have so much stuff. They have stuff for the bath and they also have like a whole product line. I've heard really good things about this brand, so. So excited about this. I was putting some of this stuff away and I realized I needed to do a little haul. Um, and I have a nail appointment at three that I like completely forgot about. I'm gonna go get a manicure and pedicure. Um, but I wanted to share some of these things that I got from Free People yesterday. Some of it is Free People and some of it's Free People Movement. Um, I will link everything. I'm gonna be that loser that does not try things on. I just put these like Elwood pants on and then this a turn long sleeve crop in my belly it keeps like riding up but i'm like whatever um, and i have some sneakers on just to like be put together for the day i threw my hair back in a ponytail these glasses are blue light dylan got them for christmas and i steal them all the time i just put a little bit of blush and bronzer on no like mascara or anything but we're gonna do a little haul quick and then we're gonna head to get our nails done my nails don't really need to be done and i didn't get a time to like book an appointment with my regular gal who does my nail acrylic extensions. So I'm just going to a place up the road. So I'm hoping that they aren't terrible. I think I'm gonna switch from the French tips to just like a nude normal color. I got some new things that are good for the growing bump, but also like can wear postpartum and then probably after that as well. These boxer shorts, I got a size medium. I think that they were only, yeah, 30 bucks. They have a bunch of colors on their website, but they only had a medium in this pink color in the store obsessed with these the fit is so nice i just wear them like below my bump right now but after i'll probably wear them high-waisted really really cute a little see-through and sheer so i probably won't wear those like out but around the house and stuff is perfect and then this long top actually i wanted to get the blue pants but the pants just were a little bit too short on me i thought this cute detail of the pink on the shirt went well with the shorts i got this in a size small um, runs really oversized and you can leave it like all the way buttoned a little bit unbuttoned just like a cute throw on Set for around the house. I figured this would be good for like I said pregnancy and then postpartum as well I've been struggling with bras and trying to like find the best bra for my growing chest I'm not used to like having big boobs. So um, I like to just wear like comfy bras I don't like anything with like a pad or push-up right now. I'm wearing a skims bra. I probably need to go up a size but like, this is just what I have. Um, but I got this little tank from Free People Movement in this tan color. And I got a size extra small, small, cause it's kind of tight across the chest, which then like holds you in, you know? Um, they have so many colors of these, but I got this specifically to go under these two things, which I feel like I always see people in these and I've never like bought one, but I was in the store and they, I think realized I was pregnant and they were like, have you ever tried one of these? They're like, apparently really popular for the pregnant gals. Um, but also I've seen other people wear them that aren't pregnant. So I got this like heathered oatmeal color. It's just like this big, long one piece. I got size smalls. I thought I would need a medium, but they run fairly big and they're actually long enough for me, which is nice. So I got this cobalt blue, which I thought was pretty. And then the oatmeal color. So these will be perfect. They're so cute with the bump in. If it's like colder, you can throw a sweatshirt over or you can do like that little tank like I showed you guys underneath or like a t-shirt or anything like that. They're just like really easy to throw on when there's days where you're like, what the heck do I wear? This will be more so when it starts to get warmer out, but it's another one piece situation, but it's shorts. This is really cute. I feel like it would be cuter without a bump, but it still does fit the bump. And on the mannequin in the store, they had it reversed. So they had this back as the front and they put like a little bralette underneath it. I got a size 
medium and super cute they have a lot of colors too lastly i got two of these little striped thin sweatshirt tunic type of things i got this color in a large to wear with like tiny little biker shorts and then sneakers almost as like a sweatshirt dress i love the colors of this one I picked this one up in a medium it's a little bit smaller with like jeans and stuff i'm waiting on my um i ordered a pair of like shop alley grace maternity jeans and i'm so excited for them to come in because i haven't really been able to wear jeans i don't really have any right now that are fitting me good so this one i think would look really cute with like sneakers and some jeans or like black leggings or anything like that so these are just like easy little thin sweatshirts to throw on like day to day that's everything that i got i'm gonna get all that put away i'm gonna head to i have to go to ups and fedex to return some stuff i have to drop off a check at the mail and then i might go get a protein smoothie before we go get our nails done because i'm kind of like hungry for a little snack but i want to have like a beverage but i don't want to have like something super sugary and i don't want water and i can't have another coffee so i think we're going to do a protein smoothie i just went to the post office i didn't realize that they closed at three and so i got to slide in my like envelope check but i didn't get to put like send out a box so i'm gonna have to go do that at a ups which i have like revolved stuff to return anyways i just got a no bread protein smoothie at ian rose wellness it's one of my like favorite juice smoothie they have aussie bowls um breads things like that and i just met one of you guys so thanks for saying hi you a worker there so cute they did a collab with um what is it called skin farm they did like a smoothie that's like good for your skin they did a collab with skin farm which is like a big skin place here that does like Botox filler, um, facials, treatments, all that kind of stuff. I love the girls over at Skin Farm here and it's giving like Air One vibes. And I had already ordered and then I saw the sign for it, but I need to try it next time I'm in because I'm like, that is, it looks like the um, Hailey Bieber smoothie from Air One. Um, so I need to try it and see if it's any good. But now we're heading to get nails done and running like a little bit behind, but I'm sure it's fine. I swear it has not stopped raining in Nashville for like three days straight. Every time the dogs go out, I have to like wipe their paws because our grass and stuff is so wet, especially from like the snow and stuff. Um, so it's just been like a nightmare. I have so many towels down at the back door. If you have dogs, you like know whenever it rains, at least like big dogs. I feel like Rue's paws get dirtier than Winnie's. Um, but when it rains, I feel like it's always such a nightmare, but hopefully we're heading to some sunshine in florida it's not going to be that warm but i don't think it's going to rain at all while we're down there which will be really nice because i'm excited for like just some sun some like long walks on the beach with the dogs even though it'll be a little bit chillier it'll still be nice to like get outside and do stuff i feel like here it's been gloomy and i've just been like in the house and i'm like itching to get out and like be in a new space for a little bit much later it's around 5 30. my nails and toes i feel like took forever i never have the patience i swear to like sit and get my nails done because i feel like you can't be productive when you're getting your nails done because they need like both your hands and i hate being that person that's like annoying on my phone and then they're like asking for your hands and stuff but i got opi put in neutral this is my first time ever getting this color which i'm surprised about i always get um bubble bath or funny bunny but i really love these i just got two coats if you're a bride this would be such a pretty nail color battery's about to die dylan's gonna be home in like 30 45 minutes i think we're gonna do steak dinner at home tonight um we took steaks out of the freezer last night to dethaw uh so we need to like cook them tonight so we're gonna do steak tonight i need to pick up the dishes and stuff in the sink before we start dinner i always like to have like a clean kitchen before we start <laughs> cooking more and making more of a mess got these samples in from this furniture company a nursery glider i've seen so many moms talk about this brand and like say it's like one of the best recliners gliders whatever you want to call it and i was trying to pick between doing this white for the nursery or this cream this one is sheepskin cloud and this one is sheepskin linen and i feel like i'll regret getting white because a baby's messy and then also i feel like even with my white cb2 chairs in the living room when people sit down in like dark colored jeans or pants, I feel like it leaves over time. I feel like I can notice a difference. So I feel like that will happen with this and it's not a cheap chair. So I'm thinking we'll go with this one. The only reason I'm like ahead on this, I don't really have an idea or direction of what I'm doing with the nursery yet. Um, but this chair takes like 12 weeks to come in. 
and I'm already 22 weeks pregnant. So I'm like, okay, by then I'm gonna be like 34 weeks pregnant. And I want, I know a lot of you guys are like commenting saying, you don't need to have the nursery done. He's not even gonna sleep in there for a while. And I get that, but also, I don't know. It's just like a thing. You just like want it to be done and you want it to be at least a little bit put together. And I definitely wanna have like a rocking chair, feeding chair that I go to to like breastfeed and do all that stuff. Um, like if that ends up, working out for me breastfeeding and stuff or bottle feeding or whatever to have like that chair up there um i think will be nice or even to just like put it in the living room for the time being um i think we'll like having this so i'm gonna get to ordering i think i'm going to order the darker one but anyways i'm gonna go take a shower wait on Dylan to get home and then we're gonna do steak dinner which i'm very excited about <laughs> I'm wearing a poppy robe, but I'm drinking an Olipop. Those are like competitors. Are you gonna get in trouble? Dylan and I just wrapped up dinner. I just took a shower and like blew out my hair, washed my hair, curled my hair, all that stuff. Um, Cause I'm getting a spray tan in the morning just to like feel better. <laughs> Cause I'm leaving for Florida and I'm like, I just wanna have a little bit of color. So I'm getting a spray tan. She's coming to the house at 9.30. I'm gonna start up a new vlog tomorrow and do like a Sunday prep for travel and then and maybe even like a little road trip vlog with the dogs to Florida. And then I'm definitely gonna vlog in Florida while I'm down there. So I just wanna end off today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was like random and all over the place. What? You've already ate your dinner. You've already been outside. You've already had cuddles. What do you mean? This dog is like <laughs> literally at my hip 24 seven. Say bye, Rue. So we love you guys, bye. Oh, Winnie wants to say bye as well. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Rue, it's not always about you. Winnie's like, I'm done with this girl. <laughs>